This video is about Modular Residue Sequence Graphene Systems, or MRSGSs for short. That's an M <laughs> R S G S. So MRSGS. Uh, modular Residue uh, Sequence Graphene Systems. Um, this is something I stumbled upon while uh, putting together uh, what was intended to be uh, a book with some, you know, uh, programs that came with it uh, to show some cool mathematical um, graphs of various sequences, particularly the um, Fibonacci sequence. Um, at any rate, while doing so, I was working in turtle geometry or turtle graphics. Um, bit more on that in the video. Uh, this video, by the way, is just a, a quick s sort of a peek into what I've been working on for the past several years, or one of my uh, projects anyway. I've been writing a bit of a monograph on it because, yeah, they're kind of that cool. For example, <laughs> uh, this here is x squared. Now notice instead of a, uh, what you might expect to be a sort of uh, parabola, right, back in your uh, high school geometry days, you'd get yourself x squared, something like that, right? Um, well, that's not the case here. In fact, this is x squared as graphed in the modular uh, residue sequence uh, graphing system, wherein uh, the modulus is 65,536. And anyways, you get this wonderful sort of... Uh, beautiful looking almost doily <laughs> super um, outrageous looking shape here uh, and yet it's a graph it's a graph just as the parabola is a graph of x squared only in in this case we're only looking at integer values and we're taking them over the modulus of what i said there 65,000 yada yada at any rate, this is a little bit of a close-up of the same one. Won't be getting into too much detail, just kind of admiring for a second here what these things can look like. And uh, here we go, continuing on, just one of the corners of that same graph. Notice the exquisite amount of detail here. And now this is the same uh, x squared, but now it's over a modulus of 2048. Uh, a little less on the uh, intricacy, and yet still quite amazing uh, symmetries, and uh, yet also complexities to be found here. Now this is quite uh, more of a simple looking graph, <laughs> but this is now the uh, integer sequence obtained by the um, polynomial uh, equation, uh, uh, y equals x squared plus 2x plus 5. Notice it's still quadratic, and it's going over a modulus of 12 this time. This is a graph of that sequence in that modulus. This is also the same uh, polynomial um, sequence, well, the integers coming out of that, uh, when you put x equals you know, 0, x equals 1, x equals 2, you put it into this uh, polynomial, and you get yourself an integer sequence and uh, get the remainders. I'll, I'll give a little de uh, demonstration of what uh, these modulo arithmetics are about and uh, but just for a second just kind of scrolling through here it's a wonderful uh, notice this a bilateral symmetry it's quite an amazing looking graph if you ask me it's x squared plus 2x plus 5 again this is mod 1000 um, yeah and so it's rather amazing looking so yeah I was kind of uh, taken aback when I first uh, stumbled into these um, rather amazing looking graphs. And so I put aside my, my uh, primary project at the time, which was to sort of redo a, a thing I had done uh, back in high school. And I'll show you a little bit about that too, just so you know what that's about. But um, here we have uh, x squared plus four and a modulus of 14. Uh, beautifully uh, simple and yet kind of unexpected. This is, is just another parabola in the usual Cartesian coordinate system, and yet here we have this wonderful looking uh, shape. And here we are, another graph of the same polynomial function. Uh, in this case, it's modulus of 20. And here we have the same, but in 50. 
Uh, now this is x squared minus x, and then this is in modulus of 64. Um, and it's again a bilateral symmetry here. I'll let your imagination do the work there, but I, I can see some rather amazing shapes here. And uh, here we have x squared minus x again, but modulus 512. Now these are mathematical graphs, and so I'm going to show you exactly, uh, well, at least a sketch on how these are graphs and not merely artwork based on some complicated algorithm. It's a very simple graphing system, just like with x and y, or even polar coordinates with your angles and your, your magnitudes, you know. And so, so, you know, or your modulus. Uh, that's a different term in that case, but uh, we'll move on. Uh, so now we have x squared minus x, and this is modulus 1024. Two to the tenth power there. And now it's the same sequence, but modulus of looks like 10,000, if I'm reading that correctly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I'm, I, even t today, you know, several years later, when I look at these things, they're just kind of kind of in awe of the beauty of these graphs. I mean, these are simple quadratic sequences. And yet when you take them over, in this case, what modulus, I believe that's 100,000. Um, you get stuff like this, for example. And uh, very simple. <laughs> this is x squared minus x minus 41. The significance of which I'll let you look up if you'd like, but this is uh, mod three. Nice little radioactive symbol. Um, and this is mod 4, same sequence. Notice that sometimes they will trail off, and this is something you'll, you'll uh, be familiar with if you're familiar with uh, the turtle geometry or turtle graphics. Uh, you know, uh, something that happens on occasion. Uh, this also trails off toward inf you know, the infinity, if you will. Uh, loosely speaking here, we don't get too technical in this video. This is uh, mod 5. Now we're back into this sort of a self-closed or a closed graph uh, cyclic shape here where the sequence goes around and around and uh, yet it just goes around to the same sequence over and over, uh, this same sequence over and over again of remainders and then also uh, creates this uh, graph over and over again. This one trails off. This one is the same sequence, mod 8 going off toward infinity there, and loosely speaking now. And this is mod 9. Again, we have a closed graph where we have this shape repeated over and over again. This here is the mod 10 going off to infinity. This is mod 11, same sequence. So notice for each sequence we get all of these wonderful graphs depending on the modulus we're using. And uh, yeah, the same sequence. Uh, 14 is the modulus this time. Mod 30, quite wonderful. Yeah. This is for merely artwork using computers. You know, it would be cool still, but I think it's even cooler by the fact that these are actually uh, mathematic, mathematical graphs. You know, we have a one-to-one -one correspondence between the terms of the sequences and um, you know each directed segment or localized vector. Uh, I won't get into the details of the definitions of those, but. Suffice it to say, we get these as, as graphs coming out of it. And this now we're switching over to uh, graphs of uh, basically these sort of periodic continued fractions. Don't worry about that if you're not familiar with them. But basically it's, it's a way of representing s as square roots. In this case, the square root of 1001 in, a, in such a way that instead of having this irrational, you know, non-repeating, aperiodic, uh, if you will, a sequence of digits, we have this actually periodic sequence that we can use to represent this otherwise ir irrational number. And so I put that in here and we get these wonderful shapes coming out of it, well, graphs. <laughs> and this is mod 7. Notice the, the relative up here in the uh, corner. We have relative mod. I'm going to talk about that. There's an absolute variation and a relative variation on these graphing systems. Uh, so we'll get to that. And then we're just keeping going down the line here. We just, you know, we can keep increasing the modulus. It's mod 11, mod 12, going on down the line. You know, all these wonderful uh, graphs of this sequence. And uh, these are purely mathematical graphs. 
These uh, green bits here are kind of showing the motifs, if you will, that repeat over and over again in the graphs. Uh, and when you do that, you end up with these closed graphs sometimes, or sometimes the graphs trail off the edge of the plane or the window within which we see these graphs. Yes. So yeah, so I've been quite inspired by these uh, beautiful graphs of wonderful sequences, uh, even simple sequences. Um, it's just been a kind of amazing sort of uh, experience, and I have been looking into it much more deeply than I'll cover in this video. Um, but it's, this is just a little introduction to why I would be doing so. Uh, only next we'll be looking at some very similar objects only uh, now we'll be looking at the Fibonacci sequence.